My name's Ian Traherne and I am a blind photographer from South End, Essex. As I grew up, I realised I had this eye darkness going on and then learned that my hearing and my eyesight condition is connected. So it's a genetic condition where you lose your hearing and you lose your eyesight. I have like a small pinhole of eyesight and I'm down to my last 5%. Photography allows me to participate with the world and society and, and being creative at the same time. It's amazing what a camera can do. It connects you with people. Having a camera has led me to meet some of the most interesting, strange, bonkers people that I've met. I have such more respect for people that do sports, especially in the Paralympics, because they have to go that extra mile to do what they need to do. You know, I really understand that type of determination, you know, with my own conditions. If I can help sort of broaden the horizon a little bit more, then that'd be just awesome. I kind of take photos of people just sort of being not sort of too generic, I like to sort of capture their soul and, you know, the human side, you know, the human beings at the end of the day. I don't like overly pose photography and try and look at them as a person, but I like people to show their confidence. At night time, I mean, my eyes, literally go down to sort of one, two percent. So yeah, nighttime shooting is pretty hard work. I just refuse to be told that I can't do something, you know, I'll do it to my best of my ability and, and you know, try and create something really cool and interesting. When I was photographing Kadena, you know, she obviously saw me as who I am. But when I sort of said to her, I'm a blind photographer, it was quite interesting. She was like, oh, you know, that was quite surprising. She wasn't really expecting that. I don't fit this stereotypical idea of a blind person, um, but that's what I'm trying to do is sort of modernize that stereotype because the one that I've been brought up and what we've still been brought up is it's a little bit old and it needs to be uh, adjusted. And I want to show people that blind people can be creative. If you've got the passion and the will, then you will want to do it. <laughs>